How weird are your eating habits? I'm not trying to get personal or gross, but I felt that it would be appropriate given what I'm about to talk about. Because while you might eat some weird things, animals absolutely have all of us beat on this one. They've got it. Got it. Got it. They may at first look like they only eat plants or meat, but if you really take a gander at what animals are willing to chomp down on, you'll find some really curious choices in their diets. Here now are 20 weirdest things ever found inside of animals. Number 20. Eggs in a Crocodile they opened a crocodile, and you won't believe what they found. There's a title if there ever was one. And given that title, you might think that they found something like a human in a crocodile, which technically has happened in the past, but it's actually a bit more basic. Because when these two guys went and caught a croc, which is not recommended if you're not trained well, they cut it open and found eggs inside, but not just eggs, whole entire eggs, and a lot of them. So did the croc swallow them all whole? Well, not exactly. While it's not stated, it is very possible that this was a female crocodile and that these were eggs she was starting to grow within her before laying them. You see, a single crocodile can lay over 30 eggs, and typically they put them into the ground or make a special nest where they can then incubate and hatch when they're ready. But obviously this croc never got the chance to do so, and that's a shame. If you still don't believe that these are its own eggs, just think about it. If they weren't in there naturally, how did they stay so perfectly intact? Crocodiles are not known for being careful with their food. They're actually known for being rather vicious and ravenous to the extent that they're feared for how they chomp down on their prey. And so when you think about it, what's the easier explanation here? That the croc swallowed those eggs whole, or that they were the actual eggs of the crocodile in the first place? That's uh, my thought exactly, though I'm sure I could find another story of a croc eating weird things if that'll make you feel better. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Dog and Balloons no, not a dog balloon, a dog and balloons. You know, as in, the dog ate the balloons. This is a very curious story, but thankfully has a happy ending. The video in question shows a vet examining the extract of a dog and finding that he ate not one, not two, but three rubber balloons. And that's not a good thing for the record, because not unlike our own bodies, a dog's body is meant to process only certain things, hence why you can't feed it things like chocolate. But when it comes to rubber balloons, they can affect your dog in a variety of ways, not the least of which is that rubber balloons are stretchy, and that means that if they were to latch onto a part of the dog in some way, it could actually hurt them very badly. For example, they've been known to clog the airways of dogs, or to latch onto the esophagus, which causes incredible drooling. And I swear, I'm not making this one up, they can actually get intoxicated off of the rubber, leading to weird effects on the dog itself. You thought your last hangover was bad? Well, wait until you see the one your dog's gonna have. There are even sites that are dedicated to trying and help you find out if your dog not only swallowed a balloon, but what to do if they did, which shows that the video clip wasn't the only only time that one's gotten in on the balloon action. So let it be a lesson to you. If balloons are around, please try to keep your dog away from them. Number 18. Cat Glass Fever now I'm going to keep up with the notion of pets eating things that they really shouldn't eat, and the next thing you definitely not want your pet to eat is glass. This is one where I really shouldn't have to explain it to you, but I'll do it anyway. Even in the smallest of forms, glass on your insides can cause all kinds of incredible damage. After all, it's glass, and shattered glass especially can be incredibly sharp, cutting your tissue, your organs, your inner skin, and so on, and even if you get it to come out 
the other end, would you really want to feel that coming out? I don't think so. Now just imagine that happening to something like your cat, which has apparently occurred in the past. Vets are very obviously going to warn you to avoid such tastes for your cat, as a glass shard can not only wreck their insides, but it can also cause an obstruction in their digestive tract that'll make it even harder for them to try and pass. Now given that you can't watch your cat all the time, no matter how many of you might want that, the obvious question becomes, how do I know if it ate glass? Well, the answer is that you need to watch your cat and look for signs that something's wrong, such as not having an appetite or its stomach area being very tender. Now, if any of these signs do show up, you should call your vet immediately. Number 17. Monty Python now to be clear on this one, they called the snake Monty the Python, so the title is totally on them. Back in 2020, ironically before everything in the world went downhill, doctors at the Sash Animal Hospital in New South Wales, Australia had a very interesting patient. And that patient was none other than Monty the Python, who had something rather curious stuck in itself, so much so that the snake had become much bigger because it couldn't actually digest what it had eaten. Are you ready for the reveal, it swallowed an entire beach towel. Thankfully, they were able to get the snake under anesthesia and then be able to retrieve the towel from it without much harm to the snake, which is good because the snake shouldn't have to suffer just because it made a bad choice in a meal. To some of you out there, you might be laughing at this one, as the idea of a snake eating a beach towel does indeed seem laughable, but that's the thing we often forget about creatures like these. They've never seen some of the items that we've created, so for all they know, they found a special kind of food that they may just want to try out. After all, a snake has to eat, right? Obviously, it didn't work out this time around, but that just goes to show that if you put the snake in the position, it's going to try and eat whatever it finds, and sometimes that includes things like humans, so you better mind your mouth around them. Number 16. Spoon. Now I'm here to talk about a spoon. A huge spoon, in fact. A huge spoon that just so happened to find its way into a bulldog. Yes, and when I say a huge spoon, I mean it. I mean that the dog ate the spoon whole. For proof of this, we need only to look at the video in which the owner takes his dog to the vet, and the vets themselves are skeptical, because how could a dog willingly eat a spoon? But just watch their expressions when the x-ray pops up, and they realize not just that the dog did eat it, but then they see the size of the spoon compared to the size of the dog's bones. Even the doctor's amazed at just how massive the spoon is in the dog, and the aghast reactions are honestly rather fair in this case. Now, of course, they had the diagnosis, but then the problem becomes, how do you get the spoon out of there? They came upon two options, a scope through the rear and surgery, that's how serious it was, that if the basic approach didn't work, they would have had to go into surgery with this dog to help it out. Now, I bet you're going to be paying a lot of closer attention to the things that your dog has access to, aren't you? Number 15. Hooked on a Feeling well, if you're wondering just how much worse things can get being as we've already talked about glass and spoons and such, well, there is actually something much worse because this is about a dog who swallowed a fish hook. But that's just the beginning of how bad this story becomes because the hook then literally got hooked on its insides in such a way that would affect not only the dog's windpipe, but its esophagus. And your immediate instinct of just take it to surgery is not really a good idea at all. But why is that, you may be asking. Because of where the hook was, the surgery would need to be incredibly delicate in order to get it out. Because if they screwed up even in the slightest, the dog would be in danger of never being able to eat properly again, which would have obviously been basically a death sentence for this pet. Got it. Got it. And for the record, unlike the spoon, this wasn't that big of a hook. It wasn't a massive one that it somehow swallowed. It was a standard hook, and it got into the dog something fierce. Even the doctors were worried that surgery was their only option until one of them was able to make a lucky pull and get the hook out of the dog without any further issues. This was an extremely lucky result, if I can be honest, and you add this to the list of things that you should never let your dog near. Number 14, Lenny and the Bull. 
It's at this point that we need to cut the pet some slack for a moment. Many of the objects that I've shown you so far are ones that, in all honesty, are rare things that would be swallowed. A very much crime of opportunity, if you will. The catch, though, is that there are some very basic things that dogs and cats can swallow that are honestly equally as harmful, despite them being something you'd willingly give to a pet. And if you don't believe me, then let me tell you the story of Lenny the Collie. This was a dog who just so happened to have a squeaky ball toy near him, as standard a dog toy as you can get, and Lenny not only played with the ball, but he swallowed it whole, and in one gulp no less. That's an impressive party trick, as the vet would eventually treat him would say. The same vet would also say that the dog honestly should not have been able to swallow it whole due to how big the ball was compared to the size of the throat of the dog itself. And yet, almost like a snake, the dog was able to guzzle it down. Now obviously that caused a massive obstruction for Lenny and the vet had to get clever in order to reach into the dog without doing surgery and pull the ball out. He was able to puncture the ball and retrieve it from within, but it was not exactly an easy procedure. The vet still couldn't believe that Lenny had done it, and then as the pet owner noted, that wasn't even Lenny's ball. He apparently had nicked it from some other dog. Oh, and one more thing, the ball actually changed colors because of the stomach acid that it dealt with inside of Lenny's tummy. Yes, Lenny seems to be a bit of a troublemaker, but hopefully it remembered this experience when he wondered to himself, I wonder if I can swallow that. Number 13. Tiffany and Company Jewelry some of you may be cringing at the thought of this occurring with one of your pets, because if you think about it, it isn't just about a pet swallowing something and potentially being hurt by it. This is about your pet swallowing something of extreme value, and you're probably wondering if it's going to be worth anything once it comes out. Such was the case with this cat owner who found herself missing some Tiffany & Company jewelry when her cat had actually swallowed it. Now the good news here is that the thing that the cat swallowed was a locket. And why is that good news? Because if it was something like an earring, it very well could have had a pronged end that would have caused some serious damage within the cat itself. However, the locket was smooth more or less all around, and thus that was not a fear that they had to deal with. On the flip side though, it was still a metallic object within the cat, and that's not something you're supposed to have to deal with. So naturally, vets had to go in and remove the locket, and no matter what, its value was about to go down. Because I'm sure that nobody wants to read the provenance of the piece and have it read as was in a cat for a while but don't worry the vet got it out so if you do have some jewelry and you have pets do what really smart people do and put the jewelry in a box or away somewhere unless you want to spend more money on jewelry because your cat or dog or other pet can't keep their paws off of it number 12 sock it to him there are all sorts of things that new pet owners have to worry about when they're raising their young pets, but the biggest one of all is making sure that they don't swallow things that they're not supposed to, which when they're young is honestly just about everything. In this case, we have a seven-month-old puppy who went and swallowed an entire sock and it got lodged inside of him. Now, if this was an adult dog, things might have gone a bit better overall for him because of the size. But because this pup was so young, it had to be brought to the vet, and the vet had to go deep inside the puppy in order to get the sock, and then slowly extract it out. Thankfully, the dog was unconscious for the entire thing, as who knows what it would have done as the vets moved around inside of it. But we can say that the sock was removed, the dog was fine, and hopefully it learned its lesson. Given that it was seven months old, I doubt it, but it's nice to dream after all. Now, I know your lessons with pets is growing by each new entry, but this is a lesson especially for new pet owners that have dogs or cats. Try to keep them contained and enforce what they're meant to eat, otherwise you might be put in a precarious situation like this. Number 11. Pigeon and Pelican this one is almost too good to be true, but it is, and it's both horrifying and wonderful at the same time. To keep it simple for now, a starving pelican snapped at a pigeon trying to steal its food and devoured the hapless bird alive. 
moving and shaking it down as the pigeon tried to escape its mouthy confines, but it didn't work. The predatory carnivore was captured striking at its prey at Pinya Zoo in Russia, where it gobbled up a pigeon in a single gulp before joining the rest of its group. Pelicans are often misunderstood birds, mainly because we see those big mouths of theirs and think that wouldn't do much against creatures other than fish, and yet here's a prime example of that being proven wrong. Not only did it straight up own that pigeon, Pigeon, which I'm sure that many of you are glad about, but it did it with minimal movement and energy. Yes, it did shake it down in an oddly rhythmic way, but that was still pretty easy pickings considering what you'd expect from the bird. What's more, it proves one of the most underlying truths about the animal world that if a creature is hungry, like really hungry, it doesn't matter what it eats next, so long as it eats, and if that means eating one of its own kind or something just like it, well then it certainly will absolutely do it. The real lesson learned here? Don't screw with a pelican, you may actually live longer. Number 10. Sewing Needles I'm sure many of you would love to continue with the hilarious side of animals eating weird things, but sadly I can't do that for you right now, as I've got to get back to more serious sides of things and talk about what happens when animals eat something dangerous. Plus, it's been written for me, and I have to read whatever's on the screen. In this case, I'm talking about cats eating sewing needles, which sadly has happened on more than one occasion, as there's yet again sites that are dedicated to what will happen if yours does eat one, and what you can do about about it. This is particularly bad because sewing needles are sharp and they can get lodged in the mouth or the back of the throat. They can also lodge in the esophagus, which has significant potential to cause harm because it doesn't heal well when it's injured. They can perforate the esophagus, the stomach, or the intestines, all of which could seriously harm and lead to death of your cat. But the good news here is that there is a chance that they can just expel them as nature takes its course. It simply depends on whether the needle is big or small and where it ends up in the cat. Number 9. Pacifiers Here's another story that may seem way too odd to be true, except that it is. Dovey is a Sharpe who was put in the doghouse when things started to look down. Dovey had recently slowed down her eating and vomited a little phlegm for a few days, but other than that was acting typically fine. But then that's when she vomited up a pacifier and then had to be taken in for an x-ray. When that x-ray came up, they were all in for a mighty shock, but that's because there wasn't just one pacifier, there were actually 21 pacifiers in Dovey's stomach. That is uh, absurd and wrong. And due to that large number, Sir surgery had to be done immediately. One can only imagine why the dog felt such an urge to be able to go and eat and eat and eat all of those pacifiers. If it had one or two, well, sure, but 21? That's a bad dog. Number 8. Fish Jewels I'm not quite sure what to actually make of this one, so you can take at least part of it with a grain of salt. In the video, we see a woman who's clearly searching for all manner of rare minerals and other items, and eventually she comes across a blue fish that at first seems perfectly normal outside of its bright blue coloring. But when the woman begins to cut into the fish, she finds that there are stones and jewels within like pearls and such. What's more, it wasn't just one of them, it was a whole lot of them. Now, I do know that certain sea creatures have rare stones within them, but that's usually things like clams and not full-on fish. And given the large number of that, it makes it all the more suspicious that it was caught on a video like this. So if it is actually true, well, then that's incredible. But given that we can't fully prove that fish wasn't loaded, make your own opinion of it in the end. Number 7. The Piggy Bank of Osman you know the phrase, you're asking for trouble? Well, a place in Bangkok didn't realize that phrase's true meaning until they had to operate on a turtle named Osman, which apparently translates to piggy bank, and you'll see why that's significant in a moment. This turtle was put within a conservation pool in Bangkok, which is honestly a very nice thing to do, but the twist here is that said conservation pool became a place where people would throw coins in to make wishes for good luck, and then whether they realized it or not, Osman would actually eat the coins. Over time, because turtles like Osman live for a really long time, it had swallowed over 900 coins. It had eaten so many, in fact, that it couldn't swim anymore because of the extra weight. And so they had to have surgery to quite literally crack open the piggy bank of Osman. 
Number 6. Fish Whiskey Unlike a certain entry a few minutes ago, this one is a video that we can trust because it's just too wacky to think that it's not exactly what you're seeing. This is the tale of a couple of fishermen who were out making their catch and bringing it on board to prepare it for when they went back to land. Not much of a story there, except that when they cut open one of the fish to find a fully intact whiskey bottle inside, and not only was it intact, it was actually still full of whiskey. Clearly the fish preferred the taste of the bottle to its content, and yet now we can't help but wonder what it would be like to see a drunk fish. Number 5. Arrowhead this is a story that's cool no matter who you are because it's about a piece of history being found inside of an unlikely source, that of an alligator. Shane Smith, the owner of Red Antler Processing in Yazoo City, said that he had been examining the contents of a 13-foot, 5-inch alligator that weighed 750 pounds and had discovered two unusual objects, one that he couldn't identify, but the other was a broken stone arrowhead. Now. That in and of itself would be interesting, but not a piece of history, except that when he further examined the arrowhead, he found that it was made of certain materials that place its origin about 5,000 years ago. More than likely, the arrowhead was on the ground when the gator swallowed it up, because clearly, he didn't watch what he ate. Number 4. Parasites I'll keep this one short because it's absolutely gross and disgusting. There are certain creatures that prefer to be parasitic in terms of their growth and nature that can actually be a thriving part of the world. And for this kitten, it had an unwanted visitor in terms of a large botfly larva that was growing within its nostril. Just as bad, the kitten was only eight weeks old, so the pain it must have been in during this was likely immense. Not to mention that's just highly disgusting and wrong. Yet for these flies and others of this kind of parasite, that's exactly how they grow. They find ways into living places and then they can incubate and grow until they remove themselves or someone removes them. I feel really bad for the cat if that's not been made clear. Number three, snakes in a fish. Andy Wharton would be fishing out around Melville Island when he pulled up a fish, a fairly basic fisherman's tail. That was until he actually looked into the mouth of the fish and realized that it not only had a snake in it, not only was the snake alive, but it had a venomous snake. You can't make the stuff up. How exactly did it happen? Well, nobody's too sure, but that was definitely a surprise that I'm glad I didn't have to undertake myself, because I wouldn't want to be anywhere near a poisonous snake, and I'm sure that fisherman would have said the same thing. Thankfully, in the end, he did not get bitten or poisoned or die. Number 2. Snake and the Cat the next tale is a sad one that is honestly a horror story. It comes out of Thailand, where somebody had three cats, and one day a snake entered the home and swallowed one of the cats up. The person found that one of the three cats had been missing and walked around looking for it when it saw a snake sticking out from underneath the sink's cupboard, and the body was bloated like it had just swallowed something. They would call the authorities and animal control would be brought in. With some effort, they were able to get the snake to spit the cat cat back up, but sadly by that time it was already dead. The cat was given a proper burial, which was only fitting. Sometimes we have a tendency to make fun of what an animal can swallow, but never forget that for things like snakes, going after things like cats or other small animals is how it survives in the wilds of our world. Number 1. Ties and Underwear Remember that dog that ate 21 pacifiers? I'm not saying that it's related to that one, but I'm sure that it has the same mental capacity. Tiki the Black Labrador was not feeling well and not reacting to medication that was meant to treat the symptoms that her owners could see. And so they went and took her to an animal hospital where surgery had soon been ordered. But why? That's because Tiki had 62 hairbands, eight pairs of underwear, a band-aid, and four elastic bands surgically removed from her stomach. Now that's just seemingly improbable amounts of things to talk about, let alone think about the dog actually eating 
and frankly it's just wrong, and I'm not exactly sure how the dog even lived with all of that content inside of it. But as a wise Goldblum once said, life, uh, finds a way. And that's all from the realm of the stomach, where really weird things lie within animals. Were you at all weirded out by the various types of things found in these creatures? And which of them did you find the most disgusting or peculiar? Do you know of another story that could be added to this list? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.